Assalamu alaikum. Hello guys. Mm, iron rust is a really big problem because it causes iron corrosion. Some methods are used in order to protect the iron from rusting. In this video, I'm going to focus on using zinc to protect iron from rusting. So let's begin. Um, actually, first of all, let's state what is the chemical name for the iron rust as a compound. So iron rust is hydrated iron oxide or its formula is Fe2O3.2H2O. Also, the reasons for rusting iron are oxygen and water. So, iron Fe reacts with oxygen in a redox reaction to produce Fe2O3 or iron oxide. And to balance this, we need to put 4, 3, and 2. So this is iron oxide and then it's hydrated by water to form Fe2O3.2H2O which is iron rust. Okay, so let's see how can we protect iron from rusting by using zinc. So actually by using zinc we have two different methods. The first one is called galvanization and second one is called sacrificial protection. But basically both of them depends on the same chemical idea which is using zinc because it's more reactive than iron in the chemical activity series. If we check the position of zinc actually it's above iron it means it's more reactive than iron so in this case zinc will react instead of iron so let's see what is the difference between galvanization and sacrificial protection because some guys are really confused about these two methods. First one is galvanization. Galvanization is coating iron internally by zinc to prevent reaching oxygen and water to iron because oxygen and water are the reasons for iron rust. So if we have this piece of iron, so we can coat the iron with a piece of zinc. And this coating, actually this is ZN, this is entire coating as you see. So now H2O and oxygen they can't reach to the iron so this is a complete protection from all directions for the iron by coating body this method is called galvanization and this is iron nails as you see they are coated totally with zinc the second method is sacrificial protection and this method we attach pieces of plugs of a more reactive metal as zinc to iron in order to be oxidized instead of iron so here we have this is iron which is attached to some blocks or pieces of zinc so you see guys this is not entirely coating with uh, uh, zinc as in galvanization only we have some blocks which are fixed nearby the surface of the iron so now zinc because it's more reactive than the iron so zinc will react with oxygen to reduce zinc oxide so this is also a redox reaction because zinc is oxidized into Zn2 plus reducing to electrons. These electrons guys will be pushed onto the surface of the iron. So now iron has already made electrons to protect its own electrons from being taken or from being reacting with the oxygen. So this is a sacrificial metal zinc. Actually, we use this, guys. You see, here is the, the ship. We have some blocks of uh, zinc, as you see. So, zinc acts as an anode, so it will send or push its electrons onto the surface of the iron. So, here we have electrons pushed by zinc. So, now zinc actually it reacted with oxygen rather than iron. So, iron now is protected by using this blocks. Actually, as long as these blocks are fixed, so iron is protected. So once these blocks are corroded or consumed, so iron will not be protected any. So actually we can do the same, but now instead of um, attaching pieces of blocks of the zinc to the iron or steel, we can attach or we can connect them by using a wire like this. So here we have a wire that connects us. This is magnesium, or we can say this is, can be zinc, zinc or magnesium, because we talk about zinc actually. 
So in this case, you know, this zinc will be oxidized, reducing electrode, and now electron can move through this wire also into steel or into the, uh, the iron. And see, this is like the uh, steel pipes underground, as you see. So now we can also protect steel from rusting, but now it's not attached to the surface of the steel directly. Now electrons will move through the wire. So we can see here, this is the iron pipe underground, as you see. And of course, we have uh, water down uh, under the soil. And this is zinc. So zinc now will act as an anode. So it will send the electrons via the wire okay into the uh, iron pipe so again now the source of electrons the same idea as before is zinc so it means after a while zinc will be corroded and if you check now the wire so you will see that the zinc will be decreased until it's completely they com completely consumed until it's vanished okay so actually again zinc is used as a sacrificial metal to protect the iron itself so in both methods the source of electrons is zinc or the sacrificial metal and instead of using the electrons of iron itself and instead of oxidizing iron itself so zinc is oxidized so in conclusion guys both galvanization and sacrificial protection can be used to protect iron from rusting but you have to know that galvanization provides both a barrier and sacrificial protection. It means in case of zinc gets scratched in galvanization, so it can act as a sacrificial metal and still protects also iron from being rusted. Okay. Hopefully you find this helpful. Thank you so much, you guys. See you.